Yo, this your girl boss lady, and I'm tied in with my bro DJ Astronis on the come up, baby. Y'all know what it is. We doing everything big because we do what we want. Yeah. Everything big. It's a boss lady in the building. What are we saying? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. We're, we're officially connected on a one to one. Yes, here we are. We're we're here. At- it's great to actually officially connect with you you know since um meeting you on the virtual sunday yeah i'm just yeah i'm, I'm feeling your vibe i'm feeling it you as well you as well i did my homework on you i like, I like oh it yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. I, I hope good stuff i hope <laughs> yes yes it's good okay. okay yeah but now nah, i'm feeling your vibe um yeah, big stuff, man. You know, I've, I've actually been um, listening to, I've listened to everything that, you know, on, uh, on you that you got available on streaming platforms to just kind of feel your vibe. And um, yeah, so uh, okay. seeing your journey and seeing where you are now. And what's crazy is because, you know, when I first met you and you, you talked about some of your influences and when you said like MC Light, I was like, yo, no way this girl's saying this, you know. I thought she's going to have to be some serious business here because, yes. you know. You know, you get the you get the kids, don't you? Saying Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well, I mean, you know, you, respect, but, yeah. yeah, you know, you you giving you giving your, your your flowers to the uh, to the legends. So yeah, yes, well, because, yeah. but you know, why why vibe is because you you bring what what I like to see, particularly in female artists, is presence. Presence, you know, yes. Presence. You gotta have a strong presence in this game. That's Seriously. Definitely. Seriously, meaning business. So yeah, it's great to have you. So um, thanks for ch- tapping in with me, um, just to get to know you a little bit. So you're originally from Chicago, right? You're originally from Chicago, yes. Chicago. You're not in Chicago now, are you? Have you moved? No, I'm in New York right now. New York City. Okay, what's popping in New York right now? Business, everything. Business. They got me out here working. <laughs> yeah, you're not messing around. You're here for the you're here for the long one then. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay. So, you know, going back to your music, um, you know, because obviously you know, I've seen you putting out stuff from 2012, like yeah. to, to, you know, now. And I'm seeing, you know, I'm not going to lie, you know, I, you know what I have to say to listening to your progression from then to now? Um, I have to say, listening to the sound from 2012, and I think it was your next one, something like 13 to 16, something like that around that time. Yeah, 2016, yeah. 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 And um, everything's been relevant to the era. Yeah. That yeah. you've done. So yeah. you know, I have to salute you for that. You know, we, you, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, once a wise person once told me, if you want to be in the industry, you have to stay updated on what's going on. Yeah. And the best way you do that, go look at the song that's charting on the on the billboards. Yeah. So you want to kind of keep up with the wave, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not go too far off the wave, but you know, kind of create your own lane, but still keep up with the speed, if you know what I mean. Yeah. 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 So you're you're keeping up. So tell me why now? Why are we why are we why am I hearing you? Why why are you making noise now? What's what's talk you to this point now to actually make this noise now? Timing. Timing is everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you it's it's bigger than us. It's you know, I know from since I was a kid, I was supposed to be doing this. I used to dream about being on stages and you know, being next to you know bigger celebrities that I've actually met in person that used to be on my wall. So, you know, just, you know, and consistency, just being consistent with everything. Um, of course, I did have a break, you know, of course, because, you know, people go through things. I want to do the family thing, and, mm-hmm. you know, and try to bring that into my career. And then at one point in time, I chose the family. Yeah. But, you know, I was still on it. I was still going to the studio. I always write because, like I said, I'm a writer first. You know, I'm a real artist. Mm-hmm. So I write. I still write my poems and stuff like that. So, you know, it just never left. And now here I am. I say, you know what? I'm just going to take it and. Mm. go full throttle with it and it's been working it's been working okay so t- all right let, let get a little understand of where you are in the industry now then so um when you first put your first track out about 20 um, is it 2012 or did you put stuff out that i don't know about before that sometimes people do the mixtape thing i don't know um i didn't put out a actual mixtape until 2017 okay i put it out in 2017 of course like um i was still learning the business yeah. So I didn't you know know anything about like we didn't have really platforms like that. Right. We were still doing CDs. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was standing yeah. in Texas at the time. So we printed up CDs and I was selling them. And yeah. they were selling like crazy. You know what I mean? And um uh 2016 is when I dropped Don't I Though. Mm-hmm. Don't I Though really took off. Um yeah. it took off. Shout out to Rampage from Flip Mode. He's the one that actually like really found me. Mm. And I was promoting on Twitter. And this was before Instagram and all that. I was promoting on Twitter and he clicked on it, clicked on the link and he 
he hit me in my DM. He was like, hey, who's helping you with your project? And I said, just me. And he was like, give me a call. And I was like, is this real? And he was like, you know, yeah. I said, when do you want me to call you? This is like six in the morning. I'm, I'm promoting. And um, I called him. He's like, now. And I called him and he took it from there. And I believe Buster Rhymes was in the studio at the time as well. Yeah. Oh. So, you yeah. know, making them play progressional moves, which takes, yes, which obviously yeah. take time. Um, yeah. So, you know, fast forwarding it to now then, where are you at now? So, well, what is that, what's the deal with you right now? Independent, co-signed, signed, what? I mean, right now I am independent. I do have offers coming in. Um, of course, we want to make sure we go with the right offers. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is 2022. You know, <laughs> if you're really about your business yeah. and you put your business first, because at the end of the day, talent mm -hmm. is 10%. You put your business mm -hmm. first, get your business or in order, then you know, I can stay independent <laughs> if I really want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, but you know, at the end of the day, the thing is with the labels, we need that big platform. We need that, you know, some of the keys that we can't open. You know what I'm saying? It's just all in how you discuss your 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 contract and things like that. So that's why I'm, that's what we at with it. That's where we are. And, and obviously we're working. So um obviously you got this new video you know, about to drop um jesus like you know i'm looking forward to this what, what you know, do are, are we still in pending mode are we still rating is it still coming soon have we got a date on it yet it's, yeah. it's actually it's it's actually will be uh it will be dropping in sometime in august it will be okay. dropping sometime in august. yes big stuff um okay so what's what what's happening now for the for the year then um because i know you're performing right you're doing lots yes, you're doing I'm, getting, stuff. I'm getting booked uh radio interviews press runs i'm actually leaving uh to go to new york city i'm not in the city right now i'm up yeah. top of course um i'll be in the city doing press runs um i got a appearance to make with hot 97 shout out to reggie you know showcase in manhattan so you know just everybody's picking it up and everybody you know they're booking me here come through come you know so it's basically like just book in and radio interview. That's what's coming in right now. Okay, you know, they, they, they better come with some good stuff for these interviews because, you know, the vibe I get for, you know, you know, you every now and then you meet people in this game, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people. And, you know, one thing I pick up, you know, you meet certain people where you can't come with the bullshit. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you me. can't come bullshit. And yeah, you know, and as an interviewer, you, you know, some interviews, they, they, they spot this stuff. Yeah, certain people, when I watch certain people do interviews with people, I'm like, um, this person really is understanding that like, this artist is some is, yeah. is serious deal. So, you know, and when I, when I first met you in visual, I was like, this, I could just see the presence, man. This, this is no bullshit. This is yeah. serious. <laughs> this is exactly. serious. Stuff. Exactly. So, yeah, and, you know, I, for, for a woman in this industry, and I've been like this all my life. Like I, I, yeah. have, I have all brothers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I've been like this. My dad's always been tough on me. So it's not like it's a persona. Like this is something I right. demand respect. You know yeah. what I mean? At the end yeah. of the day, yeah. I look at it like this. Business is business, but just keep it real with me. You can mm -hmm. tell you can tell when somebody bullshitting you and when they're not. You know what I'm saying? So let's well, just keep 100. this real. So that's that's just how I'm going to And and and, and we're, we're in the music business, so we know there's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> A lot of it, you know. A lot what I'm of it, for sure, for sure. You know, when I came out to America, and um, you know, as I was leaving, you know, I had a lot of people wanting to do work with me, but you yeah. know, I just it was it was excitement because of the accent. <laughs> so yeah. like, you just you just bullshit. You just it's, it's a novelty for you. You see, you know what I'm saying. So it's like nah, but um, no. So um, okay, so everything big is this going to be? A, a, are you going to be really pushing this joint? Then I take it. Yes, we really pushing everything big. I do what I want and still doing this thing. That's so much yeah. like an anthem. Uh, everything big was just a great follow-up behind that single. Like I said, the first single, it really took off. It was featured on uh, the billboard charts, uh, uh, the billboards. And, uh, we also did the Lizzo show. It made the Lizzo show. It made pretty much made some noise. Radio stations, a lot of radio stations. So that's how a lot of radio stations already know me from that single. And it just opened the door for everything big. So. Yeah. Okay. So, so what, what, what's, what's the goal for you that, that like, what, what is the, what's the purpose of the achievement? You know, some people say, oh, I want to be famous. I don't think fame is, is anything to do with, with what you're doing um, from the vibe and getting, obviously it's clearly the music. Um, it, what, what, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, what you <laughs> being famous and being known for somebody, you know, that, that would, um, how would I say, become a legend one day. And when I mean become a legend, as far as like, you know, I have dreams, I have goals, it's bigger than money. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is the the music is just a way for me to express myself because I have so many 
ideas and so many things on my shoulders. So it's just a way for me to express myself and also to kick the doors down for mm. women like us in the industry. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, generational wealth, uh, open up schools. I mean, I'm from Chicago. We got a lot going on in Chicago. A lot of things need to be fixed. And I feel like mm. a lot of artists, if they really, you know, and then you got to be careful with that too, with politics, with the industry. But I want to create that lane to where, Hey, we got we are entitled to our opinions too. You know what I'm saying? Like we are entitled to talk about things and how we feel. I mean, that's in a that's in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so that's 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 what it is. Just creating that lane for any artist or any female or anybody, any child coming up behind me or even women like you know that's in the same field as me. That you know, voice your opinion and do things besides music. You know what I'm saying? That's how your blessings come. That's how your blessings. Well, you know, I think it's fair to say about your music and, you know, something that, that the Coalition DJ spoke about yeah, is that, you know, um, you know, you bring in not the typical um, chat that most women bring, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. you, you, you're bringing it all over. How important for you is, is you know, representing the music the way you represent it to be um, representing you as a person um, in your music and what you chat about? Like, you know, what, you know, what do you want people to take from uh, boss lady, man. What you know, do you uh, I, I, I would just have to say, you know, a woman that you see that that's not with no bullshit respect. You know, I still have boundaries. I, you know, can nobody still control me? You know, um, I have, like I said before, I have a voice. I know, and that's again, that is another one of the reasons music was one of the platforms that actually got me to be heard. And you know, what I'm saying, and you know, and pretty and pretty soon, I want to get into the politics, but that's. That's yeah. deep on down the line. But, you yeah. know, uh, that's what I want people to see for me, like, strong. I stand in my word. Like, mm -hmm. I'm respected and I'm rich I am, you know, in the streets and in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether I'm hustling, grinding, whatever the situation is, it's my respect when you hear about boss lady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's pretty much what it is. Well, well, there's no doubt that you're an artist alone. But when we talk down to spitting bars, you know, and we're talking rap music, hip hop, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, let's call it poetry, right? We'll call it Shakespeare. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's important that it's bigger than music. And I think sometimes people forget that, um, you know, especially in this new generation that we're living with people who, you know, uh, I don't know if just drifting through the world, you know, <laughs> not switched on. You know where I'm coming with that. Um, you know, and it's like, <laughs> I, I keep it 100. That's, yeah. why, that's why that's why that's right. why I do my that's why I do my thing now. I've done, I've been there, I've done that that part of the world of the political correctness. And you know, yeah. it, 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 don't, it don't serve nobody any benefit, man. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, no, we're not supposed to live with regrets. You know that. So Seriously. that's why we gotta Seriously. make sure take the right decisions the first time. Yeah. 100, 100. So, you yeah. know, like I say, it's, it's bigger than music. So, you know, you're speaking about the politics in that. You know, I think this is something that is is lacking. This is why I kind of gravitated to you, because um I, I, I could just see this is like it's bigger than music. You know, you're talking yeah. about the politics, you know. Um, you know, we're not looking at making, you know, records where we're just talking about, the, you know, we, 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 we make a bit of the trap records, but we're not just talking about anything. You know, we, we're going to get down to the culture of yeah, the culture, what yeah. music is about. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how, how important do you think as an artist to keep the culture structure from, you know, let's take it, like I say, back to the days of, of hip hop, a game day, the blueprint era, um, to keep the culture of representing, let's say, let's just say black people, because you know, this, exactly. this, this exactly. Com comes from us. <laughs> I mean, it's very important. I mean, because yeah. we set the foundation mm -hmm. for the reason for all the other artists that come up behind us. You know, whether y'all mm -hmm. just hearing to me or not, I've been in the industry, I started out writing. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I never steered away from it. I just decided to become the forefront artists, if you know what I'm saying. But it's very important, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they need to understand the things that we had to go through just to keep that door open for them to do the things that they're doing. And I notice a lot of them, you know, this is what my biggest problem is with a lot of these new artists, they sample these songs and they don't mm -hmm. pay tribute to the ones who actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just doing it just for the check or whatever the situation is. But you mm -hmm. got to understand, people really, back then, those deals wasn't like how deals were now. You no. know what I'm saying? A lot of people back then when they was getting signed, they had some messed up deals. Mm, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was for the love of what they was doing, the passion. So mm -hmm. that's what kept them in the game, you know? So yeah. it's very important for me. It's very important. And that's, that is one of the, one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing to make sure, let y'all know we went nowhere. We still right here. Mm. We still right here. Yeah. 
for real, man. We're keeping it to the streets. Yes. So, you know, we're keeping it to the streets. Like I say, we support the street music, man. Um, Chicago, then tell me the streets, uh, Chicago, you know, um, what they're like, man. It's rough. Everybody know if you're from Chicago, I mean, it's, yeah. it's do or die. I mean, but you know, Chicago, it's a beautiful city. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you don't hear the things, but as far as like with Chicago, there's no structure. And I can say that because I'm from the city. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's no structure. No, no, nobody to look up to. Nobody speaking up on nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's like more like every man for themselves. Mm. And that's kind of one of the, you know, one of the things I, I want to create something different, like a movement, you know what I'm saying? Like we got the, we, I don't want to get into the politics, but you know what I'm saying? But like, mm. like I said, it's a lot of people that turn their other cheek and they don't care. And, mm. and it's a lot of that going on now. And that's what the growing up in Chicago, we, we got to defend for ourselves. It is what it is. You know? What what so you talk about you got brothers and you know your dad was strict. What do you think's kept you level headed? Because let's face it, you know, we 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 black people, we come yeah. from suppression, and you know, it's very easy as for us, you know, we 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 got a system that's not designed for us out here. Yeah, so exactly. you know, that's designed for us to fail. So what do you think's made you to be able to keep your head switched on? Because some people lose their heads on these streets. I mean, for one, I would have to say I did have good family structure. I did have a good family structure, which is, you know, growing up in my times, it was even just like now, it was not common, you know what I mean? But I did have mom and dad for a little while. Um, and staying into sports, just staying busy, you know what I'm saying? Like just not, you know, turning the other cheek. You know, a lot of people, you ain't gonna get too many kids that will do that. Some will make it out, some won't, you know what I'm saying? So that was that comes with good family structure. I have very good family structure. And like I said, I I had a dad and all my I still have my dad, but you know, I have a dad, so you know that 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 makes a lot, that makes a lot of make up a lot of you know disappointments in the home when the father is at home. You know what I'm saying? Even with the mother, it's important yeah. too, but it's very important for a father to be in the home. It is. Yeah, it's the hand in hand, isn't it? Yeah, having it hand in hand, balance. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah, and I can say that, you know, I come from that kind of background. So, you know, I know from first-hand experience myself. Um, you know, so like I say, you know, so we're making street music. How important for you musically then, um, mentally and spiritually, whatever you want to call it, um, does the music keep you grounded with just the madness of the world we live in? I mean, I would have to say it, it keeps me grounded to the point because it's a lot of things going on. And like I said, it's only... It's time, like I said, timing is everything. So, mm -hmm. you know, I even have records that I've, you know, freestyle records I actually have on YouTube talking about a lot of the politics when um, when uh, Obama first got in office. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I even, you know, have some raps that actually that was going on. But, you know, timing is everything. And, and, you know, once I reach that certain level and I'll know exactly when it's time to push that type of music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, we know what's going on. This is this is a propaganda going on. Yeah, First, with the COVID, now we're dealing with monkeypox. Oh, know what's bro. <laughs> you know what I'm so <laughs> serious. It's no joke. You know, um, going back to to like blueprint era of hip hop, right? Um, obviously hip hop started at a raw state, you know, the, you know, we didn't, we didn't have the diversity of what we got today. You know, people just chatting right. slap this in the, in the bars. It was literally poetic justice at, at its finest. So, right. you know, although we still got rappers doing that, we've gravitated into, let's say the commercial market now where, you know, um, the white man has seen the, the, the way where they can exploit black people and make money out of them. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so you know, like I said, we keep it real, hon. Um, and, you know, in, and, and because of that, um, we got this culture now with a new generation coming in. People are switched on, they go on, but then there's, there's people are automatically tuned into that deepness. You know, back right. in the day, you listened to hip hop, you was listening to it because you wanted the deepness, you wanted the depth. Right. Now right. it's like, you know you got yeah, you got you got the you know you want to listen to the sex music you know the exploitational yeah. shit you know you yeah. know the, the, the you know which is all right fair enough if you want to do that escape get lit in the club or whatever but if you want to get real and kind of feel like get you know understand you know get into your depth into your psyche to understand like you know am I going insane in this world is there people out there thinking the same like me yeah no, is that no. what the, yeah. the music's about so how do you think now in the culture that's different um, as to, to I kind of put it, gravitate to as an artist, you know, to because like you say, there's a time and a place, isn't now with the with the, with the politics. Like later yeah. on, you're gonna, you know, you come out. Some people, I mean, some people can come out quite deep and go straight in there, but then some people think, yo, this person's mad. 
Because if you yeah. look at, say, some of the prophets in the music industry that spoke about certain things um, that are now, you know, gone, and 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 they, at the time they were looked at as crazy people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then the music later on reveals that you know these people were talking facts. So as an artist, what I'm really getting to, like in in the culture, do you think it's difficult now um, to to express depth in this culture of hip hop, rap music? Not as much as it was before. Hmm. I mean, you, I mean, you got to think about it now. Like I say, it's 2022. Yeah. People are going and saying anything they want to say. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's just all a matter of how you doing it. And, you know, you know, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? For real. Back then, it was more puppet. It yeah. was more puppet then. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had to watch what we had to say. Hmm. So now it's more diverse with it. Yeah. You know, the, Know, it's more, you know, back then, like I said, it was more puppet. You know, they signing your checks, so you got to do what they say. Yeah. And they say you overweight, you got to go lose weight. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now it's mm-hmm. more because the independent market has opened up so much. Yeah. So it's dominating, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? So that's why I say now it really shouldn't be artists getting screwed over as much yeah. as it used to be back then. So you know what I'm saying? So just to ask, to ask your question, so as an artist, that's why, like, how they say, when you listen to my music now, it make you want to go back and listen to my old music. Because mm. my old music, I was talking that then, but it's like, mm. okay, y'all won't listen this way, so I'm going to make you listen this way. And that's pretty much what it was. I'm going to show you I can keep up with you. And mm. that's all it was as an artist. So you just you just got to stay on, you got to stay on, stay on your grind, stay on the way. You have to. Mm. It's just all that how you stay on the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, how would you say artist uh, artist control for you? So you know you're talking about labels and you know the shit deals that are, that are out there, and obviously independent market. So for you to sign a deal, what kind of business they got to come with? What kind What kind of business they got coming for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you know what? Because obviously you, you you like I say you're taking their bullshits. Yeah, like for me, it's a difference. Artists, I'm gonna tell y'all this: it's a difference mm-hmm. between an artist deal and a label deal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And and then it goes back to like I said, having your business together. Like I have a whole structured team. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. our team, we have we have marketing, we have promotion, we mm-hmm. have you know I have assistants, I have management. So mm-hmm. this is something that is done without a bigger platform. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you know things that are still coming out of our pocket, we spend it for as you know as a team. So you know, so basically. You can't come with me with the bullshit because I can keep going out there doing what I need to do. Like, I just seen an interview with uh, Bobby Shimmerta talking about Jordan Lucas. You know what I'm saying? How he's making 250K just sitting at home. So, mm-hmm. you know, those are things that you want to look into because, I, I mean, the music can only get you so far anyway. Yeah. It's only going to get you so far anyway before your body break down, before you yeah. going out and doing too many shows and mm-hmm. you're tired and you're too long away from your family. So mm-hmm. those are things you just want to think of ahead. Because to me, I feel like I already did that same shit. I already yeah. did it. So now it's more like, okay, what do I want from it now? Now mm-hmm. I want to leave a mark behind. You know what I'm saying? So that's the mark I'm in right now. For real. You know, it's yeah. fair to say, you know, like, you know, I said to you on the Zoom call, like, last time we spoke was, uh, you know, after they had the music, it's like, boss lady for sure. Because, um, you know, though you, you know, you're, you kind of like, publicly, you know, starting to really show the world your creativity side. Yes. You've really been in this game doing the groundwork, you know, yeah. you know, earning yeah. your stripes to be where you're at. But some yeah. people just walk through the door and say, look at me, hey, you know, you've been, you've actually been, you know, taking in all the observations. I, I can imagine yeah. seeing all kinds of mad stuff, people fall in the industry, um, you know, think people go think they're gonna made it and they're gonna stay up there. <laughs> exactly, it's a difference. Yeah. So, you know, like I say, I think you're right. That, you know, it, it, like we were going back to what we said before, bigger than music. So, um, everything big, you're pushing this. Obviously, you're doing a lot of the press ones. You're doing the shows. What are the shows like? What you know? What's the response like for for you know your your performances? Oh man, I, I always. I mean, that's one thing I'm not gonna lie. I've always been blessed with. I know how to rock a crowd. From yeah. When even when I was a kid, I used to do plays. I used mm. to dance in Bud Billiken parades. Anybody know that's the biggest parade in August for Chicago. I've danced in that for a couple of years. I've been on dance teams. I've been in choirs. I've, so this ain't something that's, you know, new to me as far as like getting a crowd, drawing a crowd's attention. Anytime I walk in the room, I, I deter the energy anyway. Like the energy, it shifts. I shift the energy. So, you know, the crowd's been really good to my responses. Even regardless of what show I do, what song I do, no matter what, if they never heard the song before, they'll, you, they'll think you they heard it on the radio. Yeah. That, and that's how much they listen to it because I just have that energy that gravitate the crowd. You know what I mean? So that's mm-hmm. a blessing. 
Yeah. yeah you think you're owning this shit, man. You're owning this shit. Well, you were you're officially going to international now. So, you know, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And you yeah. know what? That, that's one of my biggest, I've always dreamed of that from, from the first time I've seen the movie with, uh, about, uh, with, it was Andre 3000. When he played Jimi Hendrix. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. That yeah. that right there was like, hey. wow, I had an epiphany. Like that movie right there just let me know, oh yeah, I definitely want to go overseas. I want to do the UK. UK's been streaming. My, I do what I want. It took yeah. off the UK. It took off. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, man, you got, well, like I say, you got an international style, man. You got that international style. And you got to, you know, like I say, it's that, that, that hood shit, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. That, that's what I like. And, you know, we do like that out here. And, you know, yes. the U- UK particularly, uh, you know, I mean, the UK has always looked at America for state of approval. I mean, you know, it's it's where, yes. you know, so, so for so long, it, now the UK is officially doing its own thing, but obviously nowhere near American standard. But, you know, uh, I mean, obviously I've had a bit of... Yeah. Right? I say it's getting there, huh? <laughs> it's getting there, but yeah, it's still, still a long way to go. You know, it's mad because you know, obviously, I, you know, I know a lot of American. I'm obviously with the Coalition DJs, so you know, I see a lot of American artists okay. that have been, in, you know, seeing the studios compared to uh, to UK studio to American studio. Unless you're on a big major label in the UK, the yeah. studios are so amateur out here. It's like, yo, it's just like totally different, and you see the different the, the, the engineering's done totally different. Hence, why yeah. the quality of the music music is nuts. But um, you know, speaking of the UK, do you know much about the UK music scene out here, or uh, um, I have an idea. Yeah, but I, an idea. I <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I definitely have an idea. Yeah. I got, I got, I got some, I got some songs, some songs, some pop songs. Trust me, it's, it's okay. gonna take off. Okay, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, well, you know what? It's like, um, you know, with the UK, particularly in the in the rap culture, is um, there's a lot to learn. And why there's a lot to learn is because it's like, you know, like America, you go with American history and we yeah. talk about, the, we're, not, we're not talking about the colonized history, we're talking about the real history. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of drill music out there, is that, is that? We do have a lot of drill, yeah. Drill's the big, um, the big thing. But then here, here's the thing with the drill is like, um, it's, it's a lot of it's not truthful. Well, it, it, it's to a degree, there's a 50-50. You've got people jumping on the drill because they think it's the cool so uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you gotta understand like the UK is like the right man's land. So uh, yeah. So, yeah, so it's the right man's land. So if you know about the, the history of the UK, so it's like um how can I put it? So you got a lot of uh you got a lot of right artists that are really um taking the shine away from black people who are doing like the drill. So you got like you know these gimmick white rappers. I've seen that. Yeah, gimmick white rappers that will come on and jump on the drill track. And they'll rap onto it. You know, I'll get criticized for saying this, but I didn't give a shit. Um, <laughs> but you know, the, it's fact, this is it. You know what? Truth may offend, but it ain't a sin. So uh, I always, it's my statement all the time. Um, when people are trying to attack me, I just say that and then shut them down. But you know, mm-hmm. these white rappers, they come in, they, they do the drill track, and then they're talking about getting loved up and all this kind of stuff. And, and yeah. you know, then you got my man who's talking about doing hard time in, in jail. And do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. totally different. So it takes away you know, the concept, you know. You yeah. know yeah, that's true. Because that's, that's not real. It's false. It's false information. It. 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 So, yeah. So, you know, you know, taking it back to Boss Lady, man, like I say, it's about street music, um, yeah. you know, the, the culture. So um, now, obviously, the, the everything big, you know, it's really a big build up for this single, isn't it? Do you, yes. do you have, do you, do you have yes. expect, an expectation of how you want to see this, you know, kind of blossom? Definitely, definitely, definitely bigger than I do what I want. It's definitely yeah. going to be bigger than I do what I want. Like I said, it's uh, the energy is there. When mm. I recorded the track, I felt it. Um, first track, I will actually say I didn't write the words down on my phone, not a piece of paper or anything. Because um, normally when I'm in the studio, even if I do write it, I have to remember it up here. I can't read off anything because it just sounds like I'm reading if I record. So um, I've always been big on that. But that everything big is... It's something that I can keep listening to. And I critique my music a lot. Some, I was that artist that I couldn't go back and listen to my music once I recorded. And other people were like, man, this is a hit. And I'm like, really? But Everything Big is actually the one that I actually, like, damn, okay. I really turned it up a notch. This is a whole new lane. This is a whole new different, you know, you know, situation. Even shout out to the producer, you know, and you, you'll be surprised, you know, he, he old school. 
And you know, you think that beat came from somebody that's upcoming young in the yeah. game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So a lot of surprises with me, my team. We got we got so much to offer y'all. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna y'all see. see. So um yeah. Do you, do you do you have a follow up plan? Are you just fully focused on this right now and taking this journey and step by step rather than you know running faster than you can walk? I mean, yeah, of course, because you don't want to get too ahead of your time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You stay paced. Everybody know you got to stay paced. You got to stay mm-hmm. patient. Um, you will know. Now, I do have you know different expectations. I want to go into the movies. That's my that's yeah. that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? I really want to tap into that uh, fashion as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I design clothes myself. I do makeup. I do hair. I do everything. I do it all. Some mm-hmm. things I might not tap into, but I know which ones that I want. And then yeah. everything just got its time. You know what I mean? So, but right now, I'm solely focused on the music, getting my body right. Get, so I'm getting prepared for these back-to-back festivals. And back-to-back <laughs> so even yeah. I feel you're getting that stamina up there, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, man, you, got, yes. You, got to, you got to get that heart ticking right. Yes, you do. You do a lot of cardio, and that's and that's what's important. You got to be in good mm-hmm. health, definitely. For real, your health is your wealth, man, for sure. Yes, yes. You know, um, you know, how, how do you balance your life then? You know, be, you know, be, be, let's say, let's say, you because know, I always say this, you know, I always have to give credit to my black women. You know, this is why I love supporting the female rappers who are uh, particularly real to the game, but who know themselves, because you know, um, you know, I always say our black women that they, they're like the creator. You know, what I'm saying like, you know, they're mothers. You know, the, yeah. you know, every, you know what I'm saying though, no, where they come yeah. from. So it's like, you know, I would love to, to give the credit, but like, and give them the flowers um, yes. when it's due. And, you know, as a woman, like in, 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 like you say in the game, you have to be, you know, you have to demand your respect. Yes. Um, yes. You know, no bullshit. And being who you are, like in the game, like how do you get the time for yourself? You know what I mean? With uh, balancing everything that you would obviously have with life, family. I mean, you know, you just got to know how to utilize your time. You know mm. what I'm saying? I yeah. know it's not enough hours in a day, but I mean, hey, we got time enough. From, you know, we got the time from the time we have to go to bed, you know, the time we have to pray, the time we have to eat, the time we have with our family. You just have to utilize that time. And, you know, as long as I get... The time to my, that's why I demand when I do have time for myself, whether it's going to get my hair done, my nails done, or anything like that. I don't want nobody with me. I don't want nobody with me. That's time to myself. Sometimes I might take myself out on lunch. You know, just you just you know utilizing that time, but then knowing when okay, now I got to get back to work. So you just got to know how to balance it. You got to balance it out real well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, it's a, that's so true. What you're saying, you know, it's, it's about setting them boundaries, isn't it, uh, for yourself. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, people forget this. And I always say to people when they talk about they haven't got enough, because I hate that excuse that they haven't got enough time. You know, like when, you know, I remember working my corporate job in the day, man, and, and traveling at more or less midnight to do my radio show. And, you know, yeah. all this, you know what I mean? All this stuff that no nobody would do because they want to watch their shitty television at night and get into their systematic routine and be one for the system. <laughs> for a routine, because, you know, I'm not going to lie, I'm human. It was times where I would, I'd be like, hey, I want all my time to, uh, to 11 o'clock. After 11, I'm available. But that's not enough time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But that also, that comes on, that comes along with progression. Um, it comes along with progress, you know, mental stability. Mm-hmm. It comes along, you know, all that. It, that that comes with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, I look at it like this. Um, not too many artists these days, people are investing into dumb mentality you get what i'm saying like you it's not like how it was back then they wanted to get you when you was a kid yeah. and you didn't know nothing so yeah. you know what i'm saying so now it's kind of different you got to know something about the business mm-hmm. if i give you this money how can you bring me back this you feel what i'm saying so yeah. all that just have to balance out you just have to go hand in hand mm-hmm. for sure for sure well you, you sound like you got it on locks yeah i do i do i mean i ain't gonna say i fully do but if if i feel myself getting out tired i just you know i pray I pray yeah. I meditate. That's important. Yeah. Pray meditating is important. Yo, the 100, that's the only thing that's going to keep you sanity in this world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. You know this. Well, you know what, so, boss lady, you know, um, you, it's been so, like, just great, you know, like, tapping in with you. And, you know, this uh, uh, everything big. Like I say, you know, when we did the uh, virtual new, mu- new mu- music month, this new music Sunday, not Monday, I'm getting confused. Um, you know, one of the comments obviously was made about the punch in the joint. And, you know, I said to you about 
how you present yourself, you don't need that because of the presence. And, you, you know, this is the thing is that music is about feeling. And, you, you know, so you're all right listening, but are you feeling the music? Like, like Marvin Gaye said, music moves the soul. If it don't move sure. your soul, for sure. And that's it's the truth. Yeah. That's 100. That's 100. And what I'm going to say, you know, um, you get me a part of fire, you know, and, and I say this it, it, it with, um, how can I put it, you know, I interview a lot of people in this music business. Um, but, you know, I like people with substance. I, I yeah. like an artist with substance. Yeah. Uh, you know, not this thing of, okay, let me see how I can fit in this world. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just saying like, nah, nah, I'm looking for people who, who are trying to find what fits them. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, um, when, when I heard your music, I was like, yes, yes. You know, some people have that, you know, some people you can hear their music and it's just like, oh, it's a nice track. Some people have that vibe where you're just thinking damn you know what this is this is in its lane and it's in its lane so you know i see you work and i see the i can see the potential that you're about to make and i've seen the progression from what i've heard in the music and there's no doubt you you know you're here to command the game and you know i'm I'm fully behind you on that so uh, no for sure you know like i say you know i always like to tap in with the real ones um you know for sure you know like i said i've done this it ain't too many of us hey it ain't too many of us for sure. You know what? And and in this industry, I'll say, say in this industry, you man, you know, it's, it's a blessing when you meet across people who aren't afraid yeah. to be, um, to, you know, speak their truth. You know, exactly. because this Definitely. is the thing, you know, we're all, we're all, you know, we reach a point in life where we're all grown adults. Yeah, we were supposed to be grown anyway, but it's more people exactly. like children. And it's like, you know, you're meant to know certain things. And, you know, people don't. People sit in this world of, okay, um, I won't say this because it's going to offend somebody or I'm going to adhere to this. They're going to just end up being accommodating. And, And you know, when I was building my career as a DJ, um, you know, one thing that, you know, I was I was accustomed to um, and and trying to be conditioned to is to be accommodating to adhere into the way of how the system wants me to play out and be a DJ. And I'm a, I'm a believer of history. That's why, you know, his story, her story, whatever, right? There's a reason behind history. And we all have the intelligence to pick up a book or whatever and do our research to find yeah. out certain things. So as a DJ that represents R&B, hip hop, black music, you know, I go back, well, you know, my my archive goes right back to the blueprints of what we write down to rock and roll. Do you know what okay. I'm saying? Like, to, to, do you know what I'm saying? To pioneers that shaped the culture and what genre they were doing. Exactly. And, and, and comes with that um, is the history of the, like you were talking about earlier, is about the deals that people had back then, the history that that comes with so we can learn from today. Learn and, from, yes. And, and this is where people don't, you know, some people some people don't have the intelligence to do that homework and actually learn. They think, all oh, that was then, this is now. And it's exactly. important it's important to know that. So talking about the substance of artists and, and, and the rest of it and just to yourself is that it's just, it's like you say, it's great to come across real people who are just about, you know what? Yeah. We know who we are as people, where we come from. We know our culture. We know what we represent. That's important to us because if you're righteous and you're spiritual, then you know that everything's, you know what I'm saying is yeah. bigger than what it is. Bigger than that, yeah. Going back to what you're saying, it's about timing. So when you, people are sitting here in the mad ways of I need my break now and all the rest of it, ain't gonna happen when what you what you want or what you're gonna get two different things. And you exactly. know, I had my break when I didn't expect it. I had a dream, I manifested it, it happened, and when I got there, it wasn't all what it seemed. And there you go. You got yeah. this is it. And you know, I had to have this experience of the come down. Yeah. And and re kind of find rebuild. myself. Yeah. Yeah. Rebuild. Yeah. And you know, I try to have to do that in a career through two, one through sloppy bad management to just having a successful commercial success. And yes. um, I realized that the important thing to keep your head sane in this world, because a lot of people ain't sane. I mean, we see the people that are running the countries, right? And yeah. uh, you know, um, you gotta stay true to your nature, you gotta honor yourself. Yes, and it's very important the people that surround you. I don't care if it's, you know, like I said, management, your team, mm. everybody has to have the same energy for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, cause I'm not afraid to do it myself if it, if, mm. if it has to take me to sacrifice my energy versus, you know, cause you know, we see it when it comes, it'd it be the ones that act like we don't see it. No, yeah. you see it, you see it, mm-hmm. it's hard to unsee it. So when, once I see it, I was like, no, this is not gonna work out. 
So mm-hmm. I kind of I've always been that person that's been up front. So a lot of a lot of the times where it should have been disappointments, I actually turned those disappointments around because I, I went with my inner feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you, and it's okay to do that. If you sit at the table and somebody offering you a million dollars, now if that's worth your fucking freedom and you can't be the art artist you need to be, no, this is not for me. This is not the deal for me. I'll take my chances. Because guess what? God got it for me. This is the person who gave me this. So you know what I'm saying? So no check, no money can do anything because I'm still going I'm still going to prevail regardless, you know? Well, well, this is the thing I think people have failed to ask is, they fail to ask themselves is, how much are you worth? Yeah. Because, you know, this is a thing, you know, you got the net worth through people putting bills on how much they think they paid for, but how much do you actually think you are worth? I mean, for example, if you was going to sell your mother, how much would you sell her for? That is exactly. we're gonna talk about the situation. <laughs> so you know you'd be surprised what people say. For sure. For sure. For sure. You know, yeah. I, I, back in the day, yeah, you know, I, I knew when I used to do the nine to five world and I knew this guy who said he couldn't wait for his parents to die because he was gonna inherit it the wealth. Ooh. And I was just like, wow. Wow. But that did come from a white person. So hey. <laughs> oh, <now I> wanna... <laughs> yes, yes, so. It's sad, but it's true. I was just having this conversation with somebody. It's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. Yeah. yeah. Sure, for sure. But you know, boss lady, you you're the real deal for sure. You know, gonna, you know that's going to be the slogan when you when you when you get to your next uh, next level in the game, and you know we're doing this in person. Uh, you know, we we're gonna, I'm going to be saying this to you. You know, the, 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 I'm going to be giving you these crates and you these little. Uh, legendary statements calling exactly. these nicknames for sure but uh, yeah. that, for sure yeah. but you know what i'm looking forward to yeah. for the success of this um pro, you know this, well this single this vision i'm looking forward to the visual the visual you know oh. you're keeping you hanging here i can't wait for y'all to see it <laughs> for sure um but yeah you know i can say you got my support on it um and and, and anything that you need for sure just tap in um, I'm one of them people, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm just keep it real up front. You know, I'm one of them people I always say to people, I don't know nobody, right? But this is a, this is the other thing that I'm about. I always make sure that I'm good first. Because I like if I ain't good, I can't look after anybody else. There you go. Okay. Yes. You, know, you know this. You know this. 